NextGenWalkthroughs.com What's up people, this is Rebel Inc. This is Halo 3 ODST uh, Beginner's Guide to Legendary So, um Now we're back in the Mombasa streets For The third time And, um You know As I'm playing this, uh The Mombasa streets Aren't really that tough um, and it's hard to give strategy because, I mean, there's a couple spots maybe I ran into two or three, like, good flight strategies where you can avoid, uh, enemy. But, um, you know, for the most part, you don't gauge too many enemies. And as long as you stay on point with the, um, um, pulse gun and either pistol or carbine, uh, combo, then, you know, you'll be okay. There is a funny spot in here. I'm not sure if it's this video or the next month Bossa Street video. Where, um, if you played the game before, there's a spot where there's two t two hunters just kind of just chilling there, not doing anything. And, um, you're completely in the dark. So, but because you turn your you know, you have your um, visor glow thing on. Uh, they wake up, so to speak, and come after your ass. Well, I have successfully snuck past them like three times. But on this video, for some reason, I have no idea why, they saw me. And they uh, attacked me. But I was running like a maniac trying to make it to the door, and I made it. <clears throat> With, like, their green goo, like, flying past me. That was funny. So, this is one of those spots where, you know, you got, you're trying to get to your, your beacon. And there's a few ways you can go about, like, getting there. But each way, you, you have to engage an enemy. Because, enemy so close to the, um, the edges there, that no matter what, you're going to have to fight somebody. So, to me, this is kind of the easier out of all the options. try and take this guy out here. Oh, and just as I mentioned before, I have, um, I had to play it, I had to play the game in, like, uh, two different segments, because when I was recording the first time, I realized that, um, when you have played through the game entirely, no matter when you start or how many times you start over, um, the game will always be an open area to you, so for, or, you know, I'm talking about Mombasa Street. So even though I beat it and started a new game, it didn't, it doesn't care. Um, it leaves the entire world open to you. So the problem with that is, is when you're trying to do a walkthrough for it, um, all the beacons weren't in a linear order. They just were, like, all randomized, like, like when I came after this one um, to do the walkthrough for this part part right here, uh, the beacon was showing the very first one in Tayari Plaza. So I was going back and I was like, "Man, this does not look familiar at all." And I didn't run into any enemies, or I run into like an odd group enemy that I didn't remember before. So I had to, um, you know, just create another user account real quick, and. Uh, start a brand new game. But one of the things I did was, um, oh, what do you call it? I did the, um, I went ahead and knocked out some of the levels because I had some really fresh, um, ideas for how to beat them, how to beat them. Um, and I don't want to lose that, so I just, you know, played through them real quick and recorded it. And really what I'm doing in on my other account here is just playing through the game legendary for the millionth time and um but this time just concentrate on the Mombasa Street. That way all the routes are fresh and um unaltered, so you know. So just in case you see like an odd mix of like 
wait, this isn't right, you know. And again, this guide isn't necessarily um, a walkthrough more so than it is a guide to how to beat these levels. Uh, you know, that give people the most trouble. So, you know, the kind of guy that that comes to mind is, you know, you're playing on Legendary, you're doing just fine, but you're stuck on this one area. This is the type of guy you would reference. Like, what did, what did this guy do? Um, <clears throat> and, of course, there's other really good guides to reference, too, like Beer Baron's Guide. You know, he does a really good job. And, um, but it's, it's good, too, to see alternative um, strategies. So, you know, a strategy that may work, that I have that may work for you, may not work for somebody else, or beer parents. Well, here's the part I was talking about where I get busted. I just start booking it, jumping like a madman. Check this part out, check this part out. <laughs> That's funny. I'm like just trying to fucking make it to the door. It's hilarious. I'm like, open, 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 open. And I'm going to get hit again. Whew. And just so you know, when you go through those doors, they automatically close. All the enemies will not follow you through there. So, that's the part I was talking about. Like, the three times I've played it, I've seen those hunters, and I'll just, uh, I'll slow walk past them like I was doing. But for whatever reason, they saw me that time. Just book it. Because there was no way I was going to take on, I was going to win on Legendary, two hunters, a brute. And some grunts. No way. At least, you know, not in the position I was in between, in the middle of all of them. Now, if I was pretty far away and could strategize and, like, you know, pick pick these guys off, then yeah. We could, uh, we could manage that. But now when they're playing Ring Around the Rosie with you. So. I think we just have one more group here to to get past. And I got stuck on some piece of trash or something. Yeah, I'm just trying to... If you notice... If this is the first video you're watching on this series. I, I mentioned before that if you really want to take advantage of beating Mombasa Street in the easiest way possible, always be checking your map and know where your enemies are at. Because, um, you know, the superintendent will let you know where, where they're at. Or Virgil, whatever you want to call them. So always be checking your map. See which direction they're facing. And then, uh, start running. As long as you're not running, I say within, I say 20 yards of them, they typically won't hear you. So, you know, it's easier to just crawl. Anyways, end of the video. Peace.